Toho seems to know what they're doing when recovering from a bombed movie. If you want to recover from a Godzilla movie that doesn't make a lot of money, bring in classic monsters. That will give you money. And on top of that, a pretty cool movie. Godzilla, Mothra, King Ghidorah, Giant Monsters All Out Attack is the third film in the very confusing Millennium series because, like Godzilla vs. Megaguirus, this movie ignores all previous entries except the first movie. Except this time, the first Godzilla from 1954 is indeed dead. But rumors of a new Godzilla start to emerge across the nation. And sure enough, a new Godzilla comes to Japan and wreaks havoc. Meanwhile, a young news reporter, her friend and co-workers discover about the Guardians of Japan, Baragon, the Guardian of the Earth, Mothra, the Guardian of the Seas, and King Ghidorah, the Guardian of the Heavens. It is said that these Guardians will rise up should Godzilla really return to Japan and fight him off. Now, I rarely get into directors when it comes to Godzilla movies. I mean, I've talked about Ishiro Honda a lot. But I never really feel any need to get into a director of a film unless I really need to. This is one of those cases. The movie is directed by Shosuke Kaneko, who is the same director who made Gamera cool for the first and only time with the Heisei Gamera trilogy from 1995 to 1999. Those movies made Gamera a defender of the earth while making him more appealing to an older audience like myself. It was also the first set of movies since Ishiro Honda's Godzilla in which I actually cared for the human characters. So, having this guy tackle a Godzilla movie seemed really exciting. And there's a lot of win in this movie, a lot of big accomplishments, and then there are some fails which I feel I need to address. The last movie definitely felt like a lost movie from the Showa series. I mean, the end of the Showa series on Godzilla was just ridiculous. So it's cool that this movie makes Godzilla more serious and dark again, just like The Return of Godzilla did after the Showa series had ended. And this was the first movie since the original Godzilla in which we see people getting killed and we see the aftermath of Godzilla's attack. Yeah, it's cool to see Mothra and Ghidorah back again, but I think the coolest part is seeing Baragon back, who, after getting shoved to the side by Geras for Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, finally gets to be in the movie in a big part. So it's really awesome to see a Godzilla monster that hasn't been on screen for 40 years at the time of this movie's release. Now speaking of Anguirus, the original pitch of this movie was going to be Godzilla vs. Varan, Baragon, and Anguirus, giant monsters all out attack. But due to a combination of the last movie not doing very well, the heads of Toho wanting Mothra and Ghidorah to be in the movie, and Kaneko's friends not knowing who Varan and Anguirus were, Varen and Anguirus were dropped out, and Mothra and Ghidorah were put into the movie. But don't worry, Anguirus would eventually get his chance to return to the big screen. It's funny how Anguirus shoved Baragon to the side, Baragon shoved Anguirus to the side, and now it's Anguirus' turn to make a comeback eventually. What else is good about the movie? Well, the music is really unique, cool, and sometimes chilling. The CG effects have gotten a little better, but it looks like they could still use some work. And the non-CG monster scenes between Godzilla and the others are really spectacular to watch. And Godzilla is ruthless in this movie. Like, absolutely ruthless. Now, there are problems with this movie. Most of them is nitpicking, and probably it's not the best thing to say. But um, first, the thing that I don't find nitpicking is I was disappointed that I couldn't feel any attachment to the characters in this movie the way I did to the Gamera trilogy. Not much to say about that, but that was something I found to be disappointing in the movie. The nitpicks are, well, okay, the really big nitpick that's bugged me for years until I rewatched the movie and I just let it go, is that I always had a problem with King Ghidorah. Before this movie came out, I had always envisioned Ghidorah as the monster of death. Whenever Ghidorah is around, nothing ends well, and he's always the higher evil when compared to Godzilla, so Having Ghidorah not only be the good guy in this movie, but have him smaller than Godzilla 
is something that just irritated me. It's also very weird to see Mothra aid Ghidorah when in the original Ghidorah, the three-headed monster, Mothra was the one who summoned Godzilla and Rodan to help her defeat Ghidorah. And plus, the last Rebirth of Mothra movie pit her against Ghidorah. So it's really weird to see an uh, evil monster like Ghidorah get assistance from the peaceful monster, Mothra. But again, I've rewatched the movie and have gotten over that. Another nitpick I have is the way that Mothra and Baragon are introduced. For being the Guardians of Japan, why is it when they're introduced are they seen killing people? Baragon is seen tunneling his way through, well, a man-made tunnel, and killing a motorcycle gang. Mothra is the one I'm really surprised at because Mothra starts out in larva form in the lake. A group of teenagers are swimming out there and she drags them underwater and kills them Jaws style. I know that sounds nitpicky, but Mothra has always been this peaceful deity and to see her actually kill people is just not... It's something that it's not right. I know Mothra destroyed cities in the original Mothra, but that was because she was going to save her twin fairies, who, by the way, are not in this movie. Although there is a shot in this movie that shows two teenagers that symbolizes them, but literally they're not in this movie. Look, despite my complaints, as nitpicky as they are, this is still a really good, really entertaining movie, and once again made Godzilla the serious subject matter that Ishiro Honda intended him to be. It's worth seeing. So that's my review for GMK, Giant Monsters All Out Attack. And we are halfway through the Millennium series and near the end of Godzilla Month. So let me know if you've seen the movie, if you haven't. If you've seen the movie, what did you think of it? Did you like it, dislike it, whatever the case, let me know. And stay tuned for the final three movies of the Millennium series and the Godzilla series in general. Bye.